right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to be looking at is the Redstone Hardwood Sawdust Bricks. Uh, I got a six pack uh, of these. Um, they're roughly a little over a pound, maybe two. Um, they come in a six pack. I got them at Tractor Supply for three dollars and change. Um, of course, for the Fulton stove, I'm sure the full-size bricks would fit, but it would be really, really tight. Um, I know that there have been some complaints about them just smoldering and not providing any heat, so we're going to check that out. But I think it would be better and more efficient for these smaller tent stoves uh, to maybe uh, cut the bricks in half and go from there. So later on, as the temperature drops, uh, it is currently 48 degrees outside. We'll put the Celsius somewhere in here. Um, and once the temperature drops a little bit more, I'll get a fire going uh, with some sticks. And once I get a cold bed going, we'll put one of these in there. And uh, we'll see how it performs and how long it performs. Um, they do uh, rate them as eco-friendly bricks that uh, burn longer than cordwood. Um, I know that they're uh, kiln dried to about 6% to 8% moisture, um, so they burn down to nothing when it comes to ash. Um, and of course they're small and compact, so for folks that are either unable to uh, cut their own wood out in the field or um, can't carry heavy uh, bundles of wood that you can get from the local uh, fuel stop or local vendor um, these make a good alternative um, you know and they're also uh, a medium heat I think they give up well medium to high I think they give off uh, 8100 BTUs which is the same as a tent buddy on high um, and like I said we'll be checking the burn time and the smolder rate and all of that later on all right all right so this is the Fulton camp stove um, I've gone over this uh, stove a couple of times in previous episodes um, it is designed for a secondary gas burn. It's like a firebox inside of a firebox. The firebox is about the size of a shoebox. Um, I do have some fire starters in there that I learned from my good friend Justin Sylvester. It's good in the woods. Um, I've got some fire starters in there, so I'm going to go ahead and get it fired up, warm it up in here a little bit. Once I get a good coal bed going, then we'll go ahead and we'll put that block in there and see how the uh, compressed hardwood sawdust uh, blocks do in this stove. And with that, let's go ahead and fire it up. Alright, it's currently 48 degrees outside, 61 degrees inside, and So far I've had no complaints with this stove. It is small and compact. It does do a great job heating up this big tent. Let me go ahead and close the door. And we'll let it burn for a little bit and then we'll go ahead and we'll put one of those uh, sawdust bricks in there and we'll see how she does.
think that's good there. All right, as you can tell, we've got nothing but embers in there. I'm going to try a half brick. We'll put it in there. I'm going to slide it up into the coal bed as much as I can. And then I'm just going to put a couple of small sticks around it. Like this. Put that, if I can fit it in there. Put that next to it. And I'm just going to use these to get it going, per se. Because like this, I know it's going to take it a minute. And we'll stick that one over there on the other side. And we'll go ahead and we'll shut it down with a wide open flue. Once it starts, I'll go ahead and shut it down. Shut the flue down. Oh, how is that? That's a little bright, isn't it? Let me try. How about like that? There we go. That's a little bit better maybe still a little too bright but what we'll do is um, there are open vents down each side um, there's a separate firebox in there so it, once I close this flue like that um, it'll draw and also convect heat from those ports there because the air will come in and hit with the hot air and there are like round jet holes around this circle going into the firebox and uh, you'll get the secondary gas burn that way it's very very efficient now right now it is currently 47 degrees outside and it's 61 degrees Fahrenheit inside and it's right now it is 10 45 p.m. and we'll see how long she goes for all right so here we are about an hour in with that half a block and let's see if we can get this on camera so right now it's 45 degrees Fahrenheit outside and it's a comfortable 67 now the only thing that I did was after 30 minutes I did go ahead and close the flue, the intake flue on the door. Um, so let's open it up and we'll see what it looks like inside. Now it's still giving off a fair amount of heat. I only expected it to burn about an hour, hour and a half. So being about an hour in, a nice 67, 68, nice and comfortable. Let's open it all the way up. So you can see inside. All right, so it's just a slow burning block. It's giving off a good amount of heat. We'll go ahead and we'll give it a little mix up and see what the consistency is. So yeah, I would say it's got about a half an hour to maybe an hour left to go to burn. And it's still smoldering nicely and giving off a fair amount of heat. So, for the price and for the money, not bad. I would estimate a full block would go about two and a half hours, maybe. Um, you know, and it all depends upon the stove and the conditions. I use a four inch stack uh, on all my stoves. Um, it's just the way I prefer it. Um, there is no pros and cons. I guess there is maybe with draft. But uh, for me, it just works better with a 4-inch stack. Um, and uh, now that I mixed it up, it's giving off a tremendous amount of heat. So uh, I really like that. So we can probably get a little bit more burn time out of it. There's still some of the sticks left in there from the original part. That's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and try different methods. I even have some wood pellets. I'm going to try dropping in through the top. And we'll see how they do. Uh, I have some uh, hardwood equivalents of that half a block that I did. We'll burn some of that. We'll see how that does. 
um, just as a baseline. Of course, this doesn't give off as much heat as regular wood, um, but for sustainability, portability, and price, it's a great deal. And there you have it. All right, here we are about another hour later. It is currently 44 degrees outside. It's currently 73 degrees in here. And what I did was I replaced the sawdust block with the weight equivalent of wood. I chose willow. And before everybody, all you hardcore tent stove guys out there start moaning and groaning I'll get back to you in a minute uh, I did use willow um, we ran it for about 15 or 20 minutes uh, with the intake flue wide open and the stack flue wide open and then after that we just shut the uh, intake flue down um, and here we are it kept it up to 73 temperature outside dropped a little bit now with the willow <clears throat> a lot of folks complain about willow because it never really dries out um, it's only a medium hot hardwood um, and with the amount of moisture that it retains even if you kiln dry it it still is a little bit smoky it sparks violently and um, it doesn't give off as much heat um, and because of that it causes issues with your stack um, more smoke uh, possible carbon monoxide issues and all of that that is probably true in a lot of people's areas i live uh, currently at uh, about 5,000 feet above sea level in what's called the high desert we average about 18 percent humidity here so um, as long as you keep the wood out of the rain and snow um, the hundred degree plus summers will basically naturally kill and dry it I don't have any issues with sparking or smoke or anything like that I do have a spark arrestor on my stack my stacks burn clean um, so you know it doesn't seem to be an issue with me where I'm at um, it does burn medium hot but as you can see the wood equ equivalent in weight um, in comparison to the sawdust block I estimated um, it did burn a lot hotter of course and let's see what it looks like now after an hour and it looks like it's burned pretty clean there is a really decent ember bed in there which oh yeah which will burn for at least another hour or so maybe an hour and 15 minutes um, still generating a lot of heat um, very very comfortable in here so in comparison just a rough comparison the sawdust blocks do give off uh, a, a medium grade amount of heat it will keep you alive of course um, it will keep you warm at night um, not as well as natural wood but of course the the compact size in nature the burn time the cost it's uh, for some folks it might even be a benefit because uh, physically or equipment wise can't cut their own wood um, so we'll leave it at that uh, I'm going to try some other things later on with some wood pellets and we'll see how those go in comparison and you know I'm sure the results will vary per you know altitude uh, area type of stove you know and amounts of, of fuel that you use and all of that flu settings um, in both comparisons uh, I left the stack uh, flew wide open and the only thing that I closed was the uh, door intake flue 
um, of course it does have vents on the sides that it does draw air from as well um, but it makes a more efficient burn so there you have it <laughs>